let's take a look at the entire list. Of the 24 players, 13 of them are uncapped. We got some World Cup holdovers, quite a few of them actually. Jesus Ferreira, Kellen Acosta, Aaron Law, Walker Zimmerman, Sean Johnson as well. Herc, it's an interesting mix. It is. What's your biggest takeaway? Uh, a few re really quickly is uh, I clearly on the future uh, ahead to 2026. You look at Jalen Neal, center back for the LA Galaxy. Doesn't even play for the LA Galaxy, but it's clearly they have an eye for the future here. So mm -hmm. I, I love that about this list. It's, it's more nuanced. Um, and also, normally these January camps are a reward for these players in Major League Soccer. This isn't just Major League Soccer, but not yep. only is it not Major League Soccer, you can say, well, okay, you got an exception. You got a few guys in Scandinavia. Maybe you have a player in, in Mexico. But convincing these teams to allow these players, and not just any players, convincing a Club America who has a game, literally right before and right after this camp, in Sendejas, allowing him to come by and participate here. Not only him, but look, Gaga Solonina, Matthew yep. Hoppy, Sabi, Jonathan Gomez, Rogers, uh, Paxton Aronson. Ooh, it? Big money move right now, allowing these players to come over, getting them to come over. <clears throat> This is massive. This is almost something. This isn't almost. This is something we've never seen in January camp. Yeah. So the games are the 25th against Serbia, the 28th against Colombia. Looks like Zendejas will only be available for the first of the two. He will end up going back to Club America. To your point, one of the big takeaways for me here is is the depth. Yeah. You know the amount of guys that you have, specifically in Europe. You're talking about these guys that are not in MLS being called in. You look up and you got somebody in Norway, you got somebody in Denmark, you got somebody in the championship in England, a very good league on this roster. I think that speaks to the great depth, if not quality, maybe it's not quality, but depth of the American pool. The other thing I think worth noting here is these two games will be played, Herc, before the January window closes. So for a couple guys in general, I think it could be a very important showcase. The Federation might be kind of throwing some guys a bone here. Somebody like a Matthew Hoppy at Middlesbrough who's, who, who maybe could use a move. Somebody like uh, Sonora, Alan Sonora, right? I'm glad right? you brought who's, that up. I'm glad who, you brought that up, Sebi. Who's been linked to like everybody in Major League Soccer, obviously coming off a few great seasons in Argentina. But there are those players who at this very critical time with the window closing, a good performance might seal a big move. This could be massive for Matthew Hoppy, who struggled a bit um, after Stuart Holden cut him. I mean, excuse me. Mallorca steady, Sultan. Steady, steady. Mallorca Sultan. <laughs> Apologies to Middlesbrough. He's not played in the first division game in, in quite some time, so this could be a massive opportunity for him. So you're absolutely right about that. Okay, Herc. I said it was an interesting mix. Your homework was to, from that interesting mix, make an ideal 11 for the game against Serbia. Now, we've been told... My ideal by folks at the Federation that the point here is bringing some of these veterans is they want to win, right? They, 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 sure. don't, they don't want to roll out just a bunch of kids and lose to Serbia's B team or C team or whoever shows up. So with a win in mind, give us your ideal 11. I always play to win. What are you talking about? That, Ooh, look at that. Uh, producer, get throw, my, throw my 11 up. There we go. Gaga Solalina in the back. Uh, Tolkien, by the way. I want to see my man. I want to see that mullet running down the left-hand side. I want to see what he's got. I know no, what Jonathan Jogo. Gomez. Listen, I know what Jogo's got. I want to see what this kid has. I want to see him up close and personal here in LA. I will be there. Walker yeah. Zimmerman, Jalen Neal. There's a reason they brought this kid up. He's not playing much with the Galaxy, if at all. He's with the Los Dos. But I want to see what this kid is about. Uh, uh, Dejon Jones, very interesting for me. He can play both sides. Let's put him on the right right now. He impressed me, and you guys will see this interview um, with his mentality probably the best mentality we had or we experienced in that MLS media day. I don't know if you agree with me on that one, but I, I thought it was a bulletproof. Yep. Kellen yep. Acosta, you need a veteran. You need somebody who's going to be defensively sound because the two in front of him, yeah, a, a little bit of a two-way, but mostly offensive. And that's uh, Paxton Aronson, little brother of, yes, Brendan Aronson, uh, one of the better prospects of the region. And Alan Sonora. Alan mm. Sonora, and we'll, I'll mention him in a bit right now, but I'm very intrigued of what he's about, what he can do. Huge opportunity for him. Uh, Kate Cowell on the left-hand side, I'm going with some speed. Brandon Vasquez, I think is pretty much your, has to be the starter number nine. You gotta see what he's about. And Alejandro Sendejas on the right-hand side. So both wingers are inverted uh, with the ability to run at you. One more vertical, the other one more shifty. But Sendejas keep an eye for him. Everybody thinks he's this out-and-out -out winner, winger. Excuse me, he, he's not. He's a central player who's 
found himself on the wing and been very successful. I like what you've done here. I definitely want to see Gaga Sonina for sure. So I like that you started yeah. him and you put the World Cup guys there in the spine, right? Walker Zimmerman, Kellen Acosta. So that should I did. solidify things with all the new moving parts around it as we take a look at Herc's ideal U.S. men's national team starting 11 for the January camp friendly against Serbia. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.